I never needed a mic. <laughs> um, the way Rada and I worked was to take, um, we exchanged some um, different manuscripts and then wrote new poems, taking words from each other's work. So we're going to read one poem um, that each of us originated that uses each other's words. And I'll read what I wrote and we'll jump in with our own words as, uh, as we go. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is a prose poem in two parts. Uh, this is my poem, Artifact. One. Dad's Kennedy and Stevenson buttons. My mother's many cards signed with X's and O's. Photographs from cameras become obsolete. The occasional momentous ticket stub. Gone restored in issues. But restored for whom? I want the immortality of what I prize. Pure song snug in the head. There's no downloading such elaborate intricacy. Distilled to a top. Oh no. Oh no. A key in the palm of the hand. A poem, a hand-thrown vase. I want... Animal precision. I want... Dark reason skittle. Oh, my archaeologist, take your fine brush. Pick away a little dust. Turn this twice in your hands. This is my poem, which um, was written by the same process. <laughs> um, it's called... Well, the title is Carre, so... <laughs> it's called... Found and found wanting. To want the immortality of what went before and walked, before your trick was honed, all that took that picked up the low trail to dust, a spindle in a dedal machine beneath the sheet, or else this brittle sheet, flushed with black ink and legalese, inviting breach, a toy of wire wood which no child surely loved, a hanging cage of such elaborate intricacy, your slave muscle memory quickens so that now, ear to the window's mantra, you become the <clears throat> garret's pulse, a body on an errand, to broach an artery and with your fine brush forge an unforeseen alibi of blood.